Paradox Rift just released on PTCG Live, so we're going to take you through one of the free decks that you get on the Battle Pass ladder here when the game has switched over or you've upgraded your game to the newest version and talk you through all the cards that come in this list, how you can change the cards in the list to make it even better, and how you can make yourself the best Roaring Moon EX deck possible. We're going to get into the video real shortly, but we'll hop over to a message from our sponsors. Want to support the Shuffle Squad? Be sure to check out all of our sponsors in the description to pick up Pokemon TCG singles, sealed, and PTCG live codes. All right, first off, talking about the list here, we do see that we have two Roaring Moon EXs already built into the deck, and then we have a couple of older Pokemon and a couple of newer Pokemon. So really what we want to go down is just see which ones we need to remove. Now, uh, the Alolan, Rattata, and Raticate, we could probably cut those out. They really don't serve that great of a purpose here. I know that it puts your opponent down to 10 HP, and then you could use some other shenanigans to knock it out, but but having a stage one in this deck, not the best here. Same thing goes for the Bidoof and Babero. You probably won't need those if we're upgrading this deck a little bit more for a better draw engine. And we could definitely do that in a deck like this too. We do see two of the brand new Brute Bonnet in here as well. Now, Brute Bonnet has a great ability, Toxic Powder, that says once during your turn, if this Pokemon has an Ancient Booster Energy Capsule attached, you may make both active Pokemon poisoned. And we really don't care about that too much in a list if we're making it the optimal way. And obviously next we do have two of the Roaring Moon EX, which has the Frenzied Gouging attack for two Dark Energy and a Colorless. You get to knock out your opponent's active Pokemon. If your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out, you do unfortunately have to put 200 damage onto the Roaring Moon, but it also has the Calamity Storm attack for the same energy cost. You can do 100 damage, plus if there is a Stadium in play, you get to choose to discard that and do 120 more damage, maxing out at 220 damage for the exact same energy cost as the top so that's really good here and we could use that to our advantage if we play a higher stadium count now going back down the line we do have the Morpeko here that has the ability if this has no energy cards attached to it then it has free retreat so this is really good here as we need a pivot Pokemon and we'll see that in some future lists in the rest of this video so I think keeping the Morpeko in here is pretty good uh, but if you did want to take that out there's obviously other free retreating Pokemon that are in the standard format. So really good there, but we definitely want to up our Roaring Moon for sure. Now, another great Pokemon I think that remains in the list, and it's so awesome that you do get it for free here, is the Radiant Greninja. If you just started playing the game and don't know what Radiant Greninja does, you know, have the uh, concealed cards ability that you get to discard an energy card from your hand and you get to draw two cards. So this is part of our draw engine. I know that we talked about getting rid of the Bibro, but I think Radiant Greninja is going to be a main part of how our deck is going to function. Now it can function really well with the next card here. It's a brand new card. You do get three of them, which is Professor Sada's Vitality. Now Professor Sada's Vitality is a fantastic card, especially for this deck. Think of it like a new version of Welder. Now you get to take energy from your discard pile, put it on up to two targets for your ancient Pokemon, and then draw three cards. This is so good here in this meta. Drawing cards and attaching energy is super powerful. And obviously, if we're going to up the count of Roaring Moon, being that it's an ancient Pokemon, we do want to make sure that we have the maximum amount of these cards in our deck. Now, this list has two Professor's Research and two Boss's Orders, two Ionos. So those are really good staple cards to get for free, for sure. But I think that we might have to cut a lot of those uh, just going forward. So if we're looking at the ball count, we do have four Nest Balls. I think that those are super cuttable in this list, and you'll see why later. But four Dark Patch is huge here. We get four Dark Patch in this list and we don't have to worry about much else we just have the four dark patch that can accelerate energy on top of our professor sada's vitality and that's great we don't need to add any more we have four ultra balls too that's great now we're looking at three earthen vessels we only need one more for maximum count i do think that four is really really good for this deck extremely good actually so i think that having the fourth 
earthen vessel where you get to discard a card from hand and search your deck for two energy cards is almost broken in this deck because you can pair it with Alter Ball, you can pair it with Radiant Greninja and Dark Patch, Professor Sada's Vitality. There's so much versatility in this card to get you to where you need to be. Definitely pumping that up to a four count is what we would want to see in this list. Now, Escape Rope is really cool here, so you could pivot out of the active if you're loading up your bench Pokemon with, say, Dark Patch. Then you could just Escape Rope into something, maybe put a boss's orders in here and boss up something and just knock it right out. So that's good. Uh, Pale Pad's really good in this list in case you start running out of your draw supporters. Super Rod's okay, but it's definitely cuttable. Uh, because we want to go fast right switch is cool not necessarily needed but this is another new card that we're getting to in the list so i talked about the ancient booster energy capsule when we were talking about brute bonnet and its ability but two of them is good i think maybe even a third is okay uh you could just get a full play set and get two more but what this does is it gives your ancient pokemon plus 60 hp that means when your roaring moon ex uses its first attack and puts 200 damage it doesn't go down to just 30 now you will have 90 hit points left so that's really really good and really important in a lot of different matchups where you just don't want to be down at 30 hit points and have maybe a sableye just start sniping you out now next in here the cuttable cards probably past the peak can go i know it helps with a ton of matchups right now but having these in here doesn't seem like it's worth it just yet the way that the meta is shaping up but maybe i'm wrong maybe we do need to keep the path but hey you get three of them for free why not but i would say cut those for other stadiums the same thing goes for collapse stadium still heavily played in the meta right now but i don't think that you need them we do see 10 dark energy which i think is a pretty safe bet for how many basic energy you're going to need based on the cards that we're suggesting and then two reversal energies which are pretty good for the eradicate in this list so we're going to cut those out too next up we're going to hop through some of the lists we've either found from japan or created ourselves on our shuffle squad patreon account and show you what we've upgraded these cards to now right before we jump into those lists a couple things that you're going to want to note is that the upgrade costs here are pretty straightforward across the board if you want to take a screenshot here and use this for later on you can definitely do that and also later in the video we're going to teach you how to get these credits a little bit easier so you're going to want to pay attention to that too but we're looking at common cards being 40 credits uncommon cards being 100 credits rare cards being 400 credits Pokemon EX being 600 credits. And if you want to go extra baller mode, you can do these better cards or better versions, better artworks of the card anywhere between 1250 credits and 2000 credits based on the cards that you're trying to upgrade and make look a little bit nicer in your PTCG Live account. Now, the first list we're going to take a look at, this is from Japan. This is found on pokecabook.com. It is a Japanese website that will be linked down in the description of this video. I know it's a little bit blurry, but hey, JPEGs do what JPEGs do. Anyway, we do have the three count here of Roaring Moon EX. So we're seeing a higher count there. We still see one of the Brute Bonnet as a single prize attacker, so it's pretty good. And still the more Peko. Now we do have Galarian Moltres V, and I really, really like Galarian Moltres V in a list like this because not only is it your fourth two prize attacker, but it can attack turn one so easily with the way that this list is built. Now, if you don't remember, Galarian Moltres V has the ability Dire Flame Wings, which states that once during your turn, you can attach a Dark Energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon. So it accelerates energy to itself, which is really good here. And then it has the attack or a burn for 190 damage, but this Pokemon does do 30 damage to itself. So that's going to put you back down to 190 HP, which might not be great, but still great to donk your opponent going into turn one if you don't get the cards that you need. So we could use that with things like the dark patch, the energy switch, and all of the other cool stuff in this list, but we still see the Greninja here. Now this is a card that I think should definitely be in every Roaring Moon deck, which is the Squawkabilly EX. Now Squawkabilly is great on your first turn, you get to dump your hand and draw six new cards, which is good if we have a ton of energies in our hand, then we could use our Professor Sada later on, and then we could use our Dark Patch. So many different things come into play when we're able to just dump our hand and 
really if we have to attack with it we can hit for 20 and then put two basic energies from our discard pile onto one of our bench pokemon which can load it up for another attack later on you probably don't want to be doing that but hey if you need to you got to do what you got to do now here is another upgrade i definitely think that we should make we should be cutting most of the nest balls here but adding four battle vip pass so battle vip is going to help you with that early game consistency getting out your roaring moons getting out your pivot pokemon getting out your greninja and hopefully your squawkability ex as well so four vips is a definite must for me going down here hasuin heavy balls kind of niche but i wouldn't say upgrade to that but four of the cross switchers is so good in this list being as you're going to accelerate mostly to your benched pokemon with all of the energy acceleration tools that we have at our disposal but then having the cross switchers here is so great because it's a boss's orders uh basically for free after you've used a supporter and you could just boss something up and knock it right out if there's a two prize or maybe even a three prize pokemon out you can just snipe it out and be done with that part of the game now two of the switch carts was really really good here i love switch cart in this list uh, so i definitely think that it's a must so having some switch carts maybe one or two in the list is a definite upgrade so you're going to want to get yourself some of those if you don't already have them now energy switch is a niche card i know it's not played in every roaring moon ex deck that i've seen as far as the early profiles go and mind you it's early in the format but i really do think that this card is undervalued in a lot of roaring moon decks if you're adding a count here maybe even get yourself a play set of these because they're pretty common to find um, but i really like the synergy between having the dark patch the energy switch the professor sada all of that together is really good with energy switch um, now you're seeing three of the capsules here in this list so maybe getting an extra one is good uh, but when we were looking at the supporters notice that we're going back down to you know lower iono count and boss count and a higher professor sada count now there is one four seal stone and i think four seal is good because you do have the target of moltres to use that on to just get that extra added consistency so that's good Let's talk about the stadiums next because I think that Pokestop is so good in this list because there are so many items you don't really care about discarding energies because you can get them back and then use your other trainer cards to accelerate those to your Pokemon. But Pokestop is just great for churning through the deck. You want to go fast with a Roaring Moon EX deck. So I think that having those at a higher count is really good. I don't really agree with the Collapse Stadium here a lot of the time uh, because you're just either getting knocked out or you don't care about damaged Pokemon on the bench as much. Now, the Town Store is pretty interesting. I don't know if it's a needed upgrade, but it's definitely something you could consider uh, if you want to upgrade to the Town Store so you can find your tool cards a little bit easier. Obviously, the Forest Steel Stone's good, but I wouldn't even hate seeing four of the Pokestop. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause on this Japanese list and show you what we've done on our Patreon from one of our early lists. Now here you can see a little bit easier on the eyes, but there is a better deck list I feel in this from our Patreon account. So if you are a patron of the Shuffle Squad's Patreon account, you get to see all these lists early. And because you're paying for the monthly subscription to our articles, we get to help you out with your deck list too. So it's definitely an advantage if it's something you wanna consider. But anyway, Roaring Mooney X at a high count of four here. So you definitely want all four to squawk, like we talked about earlier, the Radiant Greninja, then we have the Luminion for consistency, so you can find your supporters when you need them. And Mew EX. I think Mew EX is a definite must to upgrade this deck. Just came out in the 151 set, so I think having that as a free retreat pivot is so good. The restart ability is so good. You can even use genome hacking in the mirror match and just copy the attack, right? You could do that with Radiant Greninja if somebody's playing Lost Box still. Why you'd play Lost Box, I'm not sure. But this list is so good. We have four of Sada's Vitality. We still have only a smaller count of other supporters, like one Boss's Order and one Iono. As you can see in this list, we went up to four energy switch, so we have the full playset, and then four trekking shoes just to help you get through the list a little bit faster. Now, there are two water energies here too, but 
that's only so you can maybe use Luminion with Energy Switch or Radiant Greninja at some point in the game if you have to. So still a really cool list overall. And as you can see, we went a little bit lower in the switching items. We have the four cross switchers and we have the one switch cart, but generally you'll be able to retreat just manually with energy. And four Pokestops here. We just cut all the other stadiums and went with four Pokestops. So I think that that's really, really good in this list so let's take a look at what all of these upgrades are going to look like for you if you're trying to get the credits starting off with pokemon costs we have two more roaring moon ex that's about 1200 credits then two squawkabilly ex that's 1200 more credits uh galarian moltres v if you're fancy you get 600 credits for that one a mew ex is also 600 credits a luminion v is 600 credits and this totals in 4200 credits so not too terrible it's pretty good to upgrade to basically a meta deck uh, from a free deck and start playing a little bit easier. So we're going to take a look at the trainer cards next. Now, as far as trainer cards go, we have four Professor Sada's Vitality. Those are 400 credits. Uh, they're 100 each, but you do get three. So realistically, we're going to calculate this a little bit better. It's only 100 credits instead of the 400. And then you want a, maybe an extra boss's orders, uh, just so you have three. If you really want to play a heavy boss count, you can have 100 more credits for that. One more Earthen Vessel to round out a full playset, so that's 100 credits there. Four Trekking Shoes is a total of 400 credits for the playset. And four Cross Switchers, same thing, 400 credits. Four Battle VIP Pass, 400 more credits. Four Energy Switches, only 160 credits because those are, again, a common card. And four Pokestop is going to run you 400 credits. Uh, one extra Iono if you want to upgrade that count here and make it so you have at least three just for other decks, but um, another 100 credits and one more ancient booster energy capsule is another 100 credits and then the four seal stone is probably the most expensive as it is in real life but 425 credits now the total here if we're looking at all of these cards as upgrades is 2585 but we can obviously cut some of this out and make it go down to roughly about 2300 credits so that'll give us a total of about 6500 credits and that's honestly not too bad. So what we're going to do next is show you exactly how that you can kind of scam the system or just work the system a little bit better and get those credits a little bit faster too. So what we'll do is we'll hop over into PTCG Live and go into the shop tab. And in shop, we can go down and view all bundles. After we're able to go into view all bundles, we can scroll down to where the July 2021, you'll actually see the Shadow Rider deck in the game. Now, it's pretty easy to obtain 1,250 credits, and you're going to see that we can confirm the exchange, and you can keep doing this over and over again. And what it's going to do is the game is just going to exchange these. There's a lot of V and V maxes in here, and as you can see, about 4,150 in credits. So we're almost there we're about two-thirds of the way there to get all of those upgrades and as you can see up on my top right hand side we do have quite a few credits but if we keep doing this over and over again we'll be able to yield the same result and you'll be able to upgrade this deck in no time so that's how we can upgrade our free Roaring Moon EX deck to something that's going to be heavily played in the meta. Hopefully this gave you some helpful tips on how to change the deck to make it work a little bit better. And if you did enjoy the video, let us know down in the comments below. So you can like, subscribe, and share this video so you can teach others how to maximize the potential of a brand new deck in the game and maybe more people will start playing Pokemon. That's all I have for the video today. This is PJ signing off from the Shuffle Squad. We will catch you next time. Hey trainers, tired of having too many cards lying around? I know that feeling, and I know what a hassle it is to try and sell those cards. But selling bulk is now easier than ever with TCG Bulk. Find tons of potential buyers in a single place. You just download the app, look for the best buyer near you, and carefully pack your bulk, ship it, and you get paid. It really is that simple. Turn the cards you don't want into the cards you absolutely need for your next deck.
you made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching this entire video from the Shuffle Squad. Honestly, from the bottom of our hearts, we appreciate each and every person that supports our content, watches what we have going on every single day, every single week, even from time to time, and uh, continuously allows us to have a forum to project our creative content towards the Pokemon TCG community. So if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and even leave a comment to help boost the YouTube algorithm. That being said, we'll catch you with our next video. Thanks again. Take it easy.